Nitwittians, this is Tech Nitwit, and we have an awesome video in store for you this evening. We are going to be throwing an RTX 2060 in here, and we are going to be upgrading from the 1650 that's already in here. So guys, uh, that's what's in store for this video, and we're going to have a quick and easy upgrade. All right, guys, first thing first, I want to explain something. Another reason you might want to do this upgrade, if you can only support two monitors with this GPU, and with uh, most of the 20 series or even 30 series graphics cards, they support four. This one only does three, but as you can see, there's one, two, three. You can get a converter to go to HDMI with this guy. Here's DisplayPort HDMI port. So guys, I'm gonna get the side panel off and we're gonna get this uh, upgrade rocking and rolling. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy out of my way. Let's flip our computer on the side. And I'll flip to the above camera and the GoPro for you guys. Grab yourself a normal uh, number two Phillips. And these two screws right here are gonna be your screws that you take off. Set these black screws off to the side. Go ahead, pull your side panel off, discard and put that off to the side. You'll need that for later. And then we have two more screws right here that we want to undo to release our GPU. And these are silver screws. And then go ahead and open your door. All right, guys, so I'm going to flip up here really quick because I want to show one more thing. Go ahead and grab your, uh, it's a GPU retention bracket. We have our power cable right here for our next GPU, and then we got the click clicker right here. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and press this clicker down, and our GPU is released. We're going to go reach in and under and pull straight back, and our GPU is free. Set our GPU up to the side, and I'm going to put this back on its side. All right, so we're going to grab our GPU. We're going to come in here, and we are going to slide him on in, line him up. and snap them on down. We can go ahead and close our door to lock and we will retain our two other screws. Grab our, our eight pin wire right here and we're gonna have to combine our two wires. All right guys, we're gonna grab the two wires and we're gonna combine these guys and we are gonna plug this in to right here. And the tab goes towards the bottom of the case, at least with this GPU. Different GPU models might have it different ways, but you're going to want to make sure that if you get an upgraded GPU in this, it's a dual fan because of the size constraints. All right, guys, so that is the GPU upgrade done in a nutshell, um, other than putting our screws back, which we can do really quick. So let's come back here to the rear. And uh, let's put our two silver screws back. Go ahead and replace your side panel. And replace your last two screws. Go ahead and plug all your wires back in and get it uh, booted up and that's where you'll be with the upgrade. If you wanna stick with me, I'm gonna show some benchmark results comparing these two graphics cards, guys. Hey guys, we got back here. We got our upgrade all finished up. We got our case buttoned up and we're gonna jump over to the on-screen really quick. So the first picture here is our 1650. In Time Spy 3D Mark, we scored 3,596. And our first GPU graphics score was 21.46 and our second graphics score was 19.12. Of course, here on our right, you see the RTX 2060 and we scored 7,436, and our first GPU score is 48.35 and 43.02. Of course, this was with uh, a 4K monitor, and on 4K, um, this was a 4K test, so you could definitely do 4K, be on the lower side, you probably wouldn't be able to run Ultra, but of course, you know, you'd wanna alleviate those stats, but yeah, you could definitely do it. So this would be probably the minimum upgrade if you're gonna wanna be looking at even trying to do 4K gaming on a PC like this. All right, guys, if you guys got any comments, concerns, questions, throw them down in the comment section down below. Uh, I usually throw links to everything I use in the description down below, and I'm out, y'all.